So we've already done stem plots. Now we're going to actually do back-to-back -back stem plots. And in this case, we're going to do one having to do with male and female heights. So what we're going to do is you're going to start it like you would start a normal stem plot. So in this case, I'm going to start at 150 and I'm going to use split stems and go all the way up to 180. And I'm going to put males on the right hand side. You can put females on the right. It doesn't really matter. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my males and put in the numbers that represent um, males between 150 and 154. And once again, as with uh, previous sections, it's always a good idea as you're doing these to mark off each height as you use it. So I'm going to start with 1 and 4. And then you're going to do the same thing with um, 157, 159. And you go to the 160s, do the same thing. So I'm just going to write in the rest on my own and I'd also like you to actually, I think it's better if you try to fill in the rest on your own. If you want to pause, you can. So this is my male side. Now the females is where it starts to get fun. What you're going to do is you're going to actually put the females on the left hand side. And with my females, in the range from 150 to 154, I have three heights. So I have 153 twice and I also have 152. You are going to put those in, but you're going to put them in backwards. And you're going to do the same thing for all of the other parts. So 157, 158, 159, and I have several other 158s. So you're going to put them all in like this. A back-to-back -back one is usually a little bit harder to read because one side is exactly backwards of what you expect it to be. But once you get the hang of it, it's not too hard. Just know that it's going to kind of mess with your mind the first few times and it might take some practice. So this is, is going to be what it should look like. Don't forget to make a key. So I'm going to say that 151 represents a height of 151 centimeters.